Christian yeah. is, like, is a follower of Christ and yeah. God is the Christ. So how can he be a Christian who's oh, not following himself, you get what I'm trying to say? You know, you just said something. You yeah. said that God sent Jesus down. Yeah. But now you're saying Jesus is God. Yeah, because I think they're father, they're father three in one, the Trinity. Okay. Yeah. Why do you think that, if you don't mind me asking? Because God says so. The Bible says so. Where? In the Bible. I know, I know in the Bible, but where did it say that? Oh, I wouldn't be able to like set that kind of like argument with you, like yeah. if you know what I'm trying to say, just because yeah. I don't read my Bible as well as uh, I should. Yeah. So I couldn't have, if me and you were to go back and forth with it, yeah, you yeah. would probably win, but just due to the fact uh, that you know more than I do, uh -huh. if that makes sense. You have more I understand, I understand, I understand. Yeah. I, understand. I, yeah. yeah. I just thought that was a... But even, even the concept, so when we say Jesus is a Muslim, Yeah. Islam, it means, obviously a Muslim is someone who follows Islam. Mm -hmm. Islam means to submit to the will of God. Yes. So, as you know, yeah. our Father, mm -hmm. who art in heaven, mm -hmm. hallowed be thy name. Yep. Thy will will be done on earth yeah. as it is in heaven. Yes. And also Jesus, you know, in the, when he went into the garden, according to the Bible, when he went into the garden of Gethsemane and he prayed to God, mm -hmm. and he asked God for this cup to be taken away from him. I, I, don't, I don't know that bit. Okay, you can check. Okay. And then he said, not by my will, but by your will. Mm -hmm. So Jesus himself, he submitted to the will of oh, God. of course, of course. So if you take this and you put it in the Arabic language, you know Arabic language is a sister language to Aramaic and Hebrew. No problem. It would be Islam. He submitted to God. So for us, because Jesus worshipped one God, yeah. Jesus, when he prayed, he would place his uh, face on the ground. Jesus himself didn't drink alcohol. Jesus himself didn't eat pork. Yeah, yeah. Jesus himself was circumcised. Even even if you see the women around Jesus, mm -hmm. they would wear the, the veil. Yeah. So, so you're saying he submits to the will of God? Yeah, he submitted to the will of God. That still doesn't, Jesus submitting to the will of God yeah. is a, it's subjective. Uh -huh. Because your God is not my God and the Hindu God is not mine and your God. Okay. So just because God submits to the will, to, the will of God doesn't automatically translate that he is a Muslim because uh -huh. who's God are we talking about? When we say God, yeah. we are talking about the creator of the sky, the earth, yeah. all of us. That's that's the one God we're talking about. Is that not your God? My God is different to your God because okay. your God, yeah. is, you believe is one entity. Yeah. I believe my God is three in one. Uh -huh. Your God doesn't have a son. Uh -huh. My God does, so they can't be the same person. What, what do you think there was the God of Moses and Abraham and Noah? Do you think it was one entity or a trinity? I think it was a three in one. I think it's... God is uh -huh. the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And of course, I know you guys don't agree with it. Do you know what I mean? Not, like, yeah, we don't agree at all. Fair enough, yeah. everyone is entitled to their own opinion and belief yeah. and stuff like that. But I'm just saying, like, oh, my God is not your God, and your God is not my God. Uh -huh. So to say that Jesus is a Muslim, yeah. it's kind of like, obviously, you guys are Muslim, so yes. that's the reason why you put it there. Yeah. But I'm just saying that I don't believe that's a valid but statement. Can, but see, the thing is, do you believe, when you say God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, mm -hmm. Do you believe, just I'm going to ask you a question if you think about it. Yeah. Do you believe in that because of, um, logically you thought about it, reason, uh, uh, let me finish, uh, yeah. reasonably it makes sense mm -hmm. or is it something which your heart accepts Yeah. or is it based on textual evidence yeah. or is it because your family, your culture, your background that's why you believe in the Trinity. Um, it's um, it's um, I would say it's a mix of all things, and I would. The reason why I say that is because if the other, for example, it's literally um, the scripture. Like obviously, I yeah. follow what's in the Bible. So yeah. if my family, my friends, and all those people didn't support what was in the scripture, I wouldn't listen to it. But because they support what's in the scripture, yeah, yeah. that's why I listen to them. But what I was gonna say, what, you're asking me why I believe it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't really. So I was. There was another set, set of. Um, from Muslim. Islam, yeah, yeah. he was basically having the same. Because what I've noticed is that, not in an insulting way, but the only thing that a, a Muslim usually ha is it some is it Islam or Muslim? When I'm a friend, no, Islam is a religion, a, and a Muslim, Muslim is like you say, a Christianity and yeah. a Christian. Okay, yeah. so the only thing that people who are Muslim, Muslim. usually use to argue their point yeah. is that Trinity. This is the Trinity, yeah. and my whole thing is you're you're only able to like argue your point by trying to bring down or d um, dismantle Christianity. I've yeah. never actually seen a Muslim be able to argue their religion just based off of what they're able, about what their religion yeah. brings. And then I would uh. also say, they used to say, they were telling me that, oh, like, 
three people in one is that logical does it make sense how can god be three in one how uh -huh. can but my whole thing is if we were to if we were even to look at your religion and we yeah. were to use logic yeah. you wouldn't believe what you believe if you're thinking about there's a guy in the sky who created everything that's uh -huh. not logical so uh -huh. to use logic as a way to dis to dismantle the trinity yeah. it would it also breaks down your religion you know, well. you know what it is you've you mentioned a lot of things like you can see i'm english i yeah. used to be christian so yeah I think now it's changed because obviously you're you're younger than me. But when we used to go to school, you know we had assemblies. Yeah. We used to go to Sunday school. Yeah. I don't know if you know this song. The wise man built his house yeah. upon the yeah. yeah. And the foolish man built his house upon the sand. Yeah. So from this we understand when you talk about religion, mm -hmm. like we can talk about for wives, we can talk about yeah. jihad, we can talk we can talk about so many things. Yeah. But the most important thing to talk about first is who is God. Yeah. Because all of the messengers. Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and yeah. obviously we believe a messenger after Jesus, Prophet Muhammad, mm -hmm. peace be upon all of them. All of them, the first thing they went to their people was, who is God? Yeah. And worship God alone. Yeah. So, so when we discuss with the Christians, that's, that's always the thing we're going to mention first. Mm -hmm. That's why we talk about the Trinity. Because okay. there's a chapter in Quran, maybe the Muslims have mentioned it to you. It's, a, it's the 112th chapter of Quran. It's, it's very short, it's four verses. Mm -hmm. But this chapter, it explains who is God. So it begins by saying, Kul hu wallahu ahad. Allahu samad, lam yalid, wa lam yulad, wa lam yakulluhu kufu wa ahad. So it mentions, say, so here the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he's been commanded by Allah to say to the people, announce to the people, that he, Allah, is one. Okay. Allahu samad, he is samad. Samad is, is, uh, is one of the names of Allah. As samad, it means, that the one who is completely independent from everything okay. and everything is in need of him yeah. so all of, so god is completely free from us yeah but all of us yeah. we need god yeah lam yalid wa lam yulad he was not born and none is born from him so yeah. we don't believe that god had parents we don't believe that god had parents okay and we don't believe that god has children like we yeah. don't accept the concept of the son of god the yeah. daughter of god etc and there's nothing comparable to God. So this is, this is always where we start from. Okay, that's fair enough. And this is the message of Jesus. Like, obviously... What's the message of Jesus? I'll come to it. Like, obviously, like you mentioned in the beginning, perhaps because I've got, I'm a bit older, a bit more experienced, I can overpower you with um, the Bible says. But, you yeah. know, in the, in the Gospel according to John, there's a very famous verse, uh, chapter 17, verse 3, mm -hmm. where Jesus, what well, is reported that Jesus says that this is life eternal. Yeah. Because obviously this is what we, as, as Muslims and Christians, we do agree that this life is temporary yeah. and we're going to an eternal life. Yeah. So Jesus says, this is life eternal, that they may know you, the only true God mm -hmm. and Jesus Christ who you have sent. Mm -hmm. So here, Jesus yeah. is announcing mm -hmm. that eternal life can only be obtained by recognizing the one true God. And, no. he's, and he's not talking about himself. That's not what he's trying to say. Uh -huh. um, I think a lot of people, they take one sentence from the Bible and it's like, because if, 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 I, if I could take, if I took a sentence from the Bible, yeah, really yeah. and truly, we can all take the, a sentence from the Bible and try and, and not even try, we can actually make it sound like this is what it means. It's yeah, possible, yeah. it's not impossible. But do you not think well, this is quite straightforward? No, it's not because one needs to... So we believe that the Bible is the true divine word of God. Uh -huh. So these are the words of God. So you need uh -huh. to pray to God to understand the knowledge and the word of God. If you're trying to understand the divine words from God with a yeah. human mind, it's not going to uh -huh. work. So yeah. your, your interpretation, if you haven't prayed to God for uh -huh. understanding, you're going to interpret it completely wrong. That's my first point. Second of all, uh -huh. you have to read the Bible in context everything in the bible more time linked to each other there's no contradiction and though there are contradictions that people find it because they haven't read it to its full extent or they haven't if they haven't gone to like do the extra research of what words actually mean for example different words in the bible they might not be there might not be a direct translation to it in english so when they read it from the the like the translated versions they'll have an interpretation that's not exactly what it means but you know even the new test i mean there's a lot of points but even the new testament itself yeah you don't have the original language of jesus it's, yeah. it's greek you know yeah. tw it's 27 books mm -hmm. and these books were all written after jesus yeah and the, all these books were written in Greek. So even what you well, have, I can't, I can't even what even 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 what you have, 
is not the words of Jesus, it's a translation. No, it's the divine, it's the divi it's the divine word of God. So God gave it's the same way that yeah. like God gives people dreams, the same way God yeah. gives people like like different different um what do you call but it? This, but this but this so, so we've got two issues going here. One, the oneness of God and he's not a trinity. That's that's the, obviously what we brought. That's and the second and the at. second is the is the Bible the word of God? Yeah it is. I, Okay, but the thing is, you know, the Bible mentioned, well, the Quran mentions, Kul hatu burhanakum in kuntum sadiqeen. Bring your evidence if you are truthful. Yeah. And the Bible also says. Have you read the entire Bible? Yeah. In context? Um, I'm going to say yes, but a Christian okay. may say no. But the Bible says that prove all things and hold on what is true. So when you say the Bible is the word of God, mm -hmm. then you have to be able to prove it. It's not just. I feel it or my mom said no, I so. No, I get what you're yeah. saying, but you've said that you've read the Bible. Because my point is that a lot yeah. of people read the Bible because you said that, okay, so... Oh, you, can, you can pick and choose, I know, and yeah. you can distort things. Yeah, exactly. But, even, but this verse itself, look, at, look how straightforward it is. No, but you're this is life eternal, no, but you're arguing that they that may you know read, you. You read the Bible in context, no? I mean, I read the Bible from, from cover to cover so have numerous you, but times. So have you read it? In, it? Okay, you read when, it I, when I was cover, young, but when I was young. What do you mean by in context? In context, for example, the do you I know? read it as a Christian. Okay, so yeah. the book of the book of Romans, yeah. who wrote the book of Romans and why was he writing it? Okay. Romans is one of the letters of Paul. Okay. Thirteen letters of Paul. Okay. Only seven of them are agreed upon by Christian scholars. Six are not, I'm, not yeah, sure. Christian but, scholars don't but, but even Paul is writing to the Romans. Yeah. Of, he's writing to the people in Rome. Yeah, because But the thing is I mean, we, we're, we're jumping issues. I'm, no, I'm going no, to come important. back to the point. It's important. When you talk about uh, Paul, Paul, he never met Jesus. Yeah. He claims to have a vision of Jesus. Yeah. When, he, when he had his vision of Jesus, he didn't go back to the disciples, those people who, who lived with Jesus, walked yeah. with Jesus, and learned direct from Jesus. Okay. Rather, he became the head of the church. So, okay. so the, thing is, mean, the thing is, and then even, the, I don't know if you're aware, the Gospels are actually written after Paul. Paul is the earliest book to the, the New thing, Testament. The, the reason but why the, thing is, the thing is, look, okay. I, sorry to add, the thing is, we have to keep things simple. First thing is to understand God is one. Jesus. No, he's not one. Uh, he's not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to disrespect you. No problem. Obviously, no, I you, can't, yeah, yeah, you as, a, as a Christian, yeah. if I hear something that goes against like what I believe the truth is, because at the end of the day, if you're recording it, it means more than just me and you are going to listen to Of course, to it. of course. So I don't want to be responsible no for problem. my lack of knowledge, which is even bad in that as a Christian myself. Uh, I, don't wanna, I don't want my lack uh, of knowledge to be responsible for the reason why people lean more towards your side. That's why uh, I don't want to like go back and forth because a lot of the points you're making to someone who to someone who doesn't even who's not religious or atheist or agnostic it might sound like this guy is making a lot more sense than me i think but so yeah I have a, no i think so i'm no, sure no, you yeah. are, you're, I'm, me too i'm sure you're making yeah. you're make you're going to be able to make more of a valid point or argument than me because, because I, of experience, because age, of experience yeah. and age and also because i'm not really i haven't done my job uh, as a christian to go and read uh, the bible and educate myself so i can have arguments yeah. like but this, but this is simple like look look yeah but it's not you know, simple you know though, jesus okay look jesus Okay. One thing. Um, one thing we a bit. Sorry, I've got to let you go in like five minutes, but I'll, I'll just okay, to your last okay. argument. Okay. God is eternal. Yes, I believe that. He's always existed, and yes. He always will exist. Yes. And in this existence, He He's always eternally had His perfect names mm -hmm. and attributes. Yes. He's always been all knowing, mm -hmm. all powerful, yep. all merciful, yep. etc. Mm -hmm. And He's always had these attributes. Yeah. So now, when you come and say. Mm -hmm that Jesus is the second person of the Trinity and he came down and he humbled himself. Yes. And then he died on the cross. Yeah. God is the ever living and he never dies. Uh, mm -hmm. The moment you say that That's Jesus died, even if, even if it's three days, even if he died for three days. Yeah. And, and the fact that, I don't, you can look it up, but you know Jesus, when he became hungry and he went to the fig tree and he walked over to the fig tree and then he realized there was no figs on the tree because it wasn't the season yeah. and he cursed it. Here, Jesus Sorry, is. I, I, I literally do, I do just need to, I actually just do need to leave. Can but, I just conclude very quickly? Yeah, really quickly. Okay. He was hungry. Yeah. He was ignorant. Yeah. And he cursed a tree. This is not God. And okay. he died according to Christian belief. This is okay. not God. Exactly. Madam, thank okay. you for your time. Well, I appreciate what I would it. Say, just one last point as I walk away. No problem. You said how, like, obviously God is the ever living. God is, God can't humble himself. Obviously, we, as Christians, we believe that we can't even be in the face of God as we are because we're just full of sin. Uh -huh. If we were to be in the presence of God, we'd probably die. And God knows. That's why God sent down somebody who can be amongst us. So therefore he wasn't God? 
Yes, he is God. He's three in one. The fact that this is what Madam, so Madam, you know what? Why do you guys believe? But John's gospel says no man has ever seen. No, no. This is what makes. This is what baffles me. Why do you guys believe that it's so possible for a guy to be in the sky? Which I believe as well. No, we don't believe a guy in the sky. That, that, like, we believe in God. What you what you what you understand the Father? What you understand the Father? We understand as God. Why do you guys find it? Okay, we actually we find it so easy to believe because we're all Christian. But I'm Christian. You guys are Muslim. So you guys don't just believe that we were just we appear to. We believe that there's a Creator. So why do you guys find it so easy to believe that there is a Creator? up in heaven who created who is responsible for all of this he can do all of this but you find it so hard to believe that he can be three people in one but still be one Madam, he is God yeah, yeah. can I, can I he tell you can something? do whatever can I tell you he something? wants can he, can, can, can he stop Pardon? can he stop it what? Does not have an action, have an madam, madam. The, the, the problem, no, no, it's, it's, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm madam. The, prob the problem is, okay. the problem is, you don't have time, yeah. so you're making your point before you leave. But when you say God can do anything, yeah. can God stop existing? Can God stop existing? Yeah, if he wanted to, then that's not God. Sure, why not? Thank you very much, madam. All the best.